So earlier this year, eastbay.com, the online retail site, closed down. So as most of you know, it's what I used to get ungated on Nike back in 2021. It's what a lot of other Amazon sellers use to get ungated on Nike. So this led to a lot of questions from new sellers in a frenzy, wondering how they were gonna be able to get ungated on Nike now that eSpay is no more. As a result, I am making this video to show you there's other ways as a new seller to get ungated on Nike, as well as a way to get ungated on Health and Beauty. So let's get started in the video. What is going on Amazon sellers? Welcome to the Flips Nation channel. My name is Rob and I do about 25K a month in sales, doing primarily online arbitrage. And I'll get right into the ungate video. Just drop me a like and subscribe. If this video does help you out in some way or fashion, it helps me and helps get this information out to other sellers that may need it. In addition to that, in the link below, you'll find a link to the free Amazon FBA Flips Nation Discord group free Amazon FBA course, free Amazon FBA information, online community, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested, go ahead and join. I will see you guys there. Now on to the video. All right guys, so I'm gonna jump right over to my screen. I just wanna say this is the first most reliable site that I'm gonna go over and then I'll go over the next most reliable site as far as Nike and Gates go and then I'll jump over to Health and Beauty. Now, when I say reliable, I'm speaking more so to the point that it's the best feedback that I get from many of the members in the Flips Nation group to tell me that they had a successful ungate. Now, this is really a case by case basis. Some sellers get approved in their first attempt. Others take three, four, five attempts. If you first attempt and you don't get approved, don't let it get to you, just apply again, and I guarantee you will eventually get there. Maybe try the next site that I mentioned if this one isn't working for you, but the name of the game is to keep on trying. Amazon has been a little bit more lenient on ungates lately, so that should serve you a good chance of getting ungated. Here's some quick information if you are a new seller and you wants to get ungated. This is some things that Amazon is going to require of you for an ungate to Nike or ungate to any product for the most part. So if you are a new seller, here are just some things that Amazon is going to ask of you to provide before you get ungated. Now this is true for most brand ungates. That is, you will need to provide them with an invoice. You will need to provide them with an invoice that has at least a minimum of 10 units of that product. That invoice must also show a billing address and a name that matches exactly what's on your Amazon seller's account. It also will needs to have the manufacturer, the distributor, or the online retailer's name as well as their address and must show a date that shows that you purchased those units within the last 180 days. Now as far as what product and whatnot, it's some things I'm going to be going over in detail when I go over my screen. And if you missed some of the points I just mentioned, I'll be sure to repeat it in this video. Now let's get over to my screen. All right, so now I'm going to jump over to my screen, show you what kind of products I would buy, how to identify which products to buy, not only for just this kind of ungate, but for any kind of ungate on Amazon. And after the Nike ungate, I'll jump over to Health and Beauty. Let's go over to my screen now. All right, so here we are on Kohl's.com. Very reliable. It's given the highest success rate as far as ungates for Nike as well as other ungates. Now, this is again feedback from the members of my group and as well as myself. On uh, I've used Coles on various other ungates and I've gotten through just on the first try. Uh, it's gotten through for new sellers on the first try as well. So, even though the Coles invoice does not say invoice, it does say receipt. Uh, it will be fine. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you a product that many have used to get ungated on Nike. Now remember, at this junction in time, when I make this video, the product is in stock. At whatever time you're watching this video, if for some reason it's not out of stock, please note it does not really matter what product you use, just so long as the exact product is in fact carried by Amazon. And I'm going to go through how to identify um, which kind of product it is. It's not rocket science, it's going to be very simple and straightforward. So just please keep that in mind. You know, just if there's anything I want to hit home, it does not have to be this exact product. You will use this method for any kind of brand and gates. It does not matter the product. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, something I'm always going to use are Nike stocks. Man. And this isn't scripted, so I'm pretty much going to go through exactly what I'd go through if I'm looking for an item or a brand to gate and how I find the item. So let's see here. Uh, Nike six pack every day. Uh, this. All right. So uh, one thing also to note: 
It does matter if it's a size small, medium, large. Each individual size does in fact adhere to its own unique ASIN on Amazon. So you can't use a medium and try to ungate on a small listing, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, and also, more than likely it's not gonna be profitable what you're buying here. If you look at it more as an investment, you can probably at least break even, but just look at it as an investment. You're, I'm looking for socks because it's the least amount of money you probably have to spend to get ungated. A lot of, a lot of other Nike things like shirts and whatnot could be more expensive. All right, so looking at this, there's a Nike logo on top. We're gonna do a size eight to 12 and also it is the color white. So now that we've seen this, let's jump over to Amazon. I'm going to copy the title right here. Just paste it, search. All right, so right off the bat, I mean, this, is, this has gotta be the product, right? It's not ankle high, it's up to um, higher than the ankle. Let's click on it. Nike logo on the top, Nike logo on top. I mean, there's no other brandings on the other parts of the sock, it's just the Nike on the top. So size eight to 12 and 1215 is in stock. So let's go over here and see if they have, so they only have a medium and a large. So what you can do, since we're not sure right now, eight to 12, if that's a medium or 1215, that's a large. So we can always just go on the Nike site and check. Or you can also just go here and maybe put 8 to 12. Oops. 8 to 12. Right here. So this one's straight up 8 to 12. Oops. Uh, by the way, Cell Ramp is a great tool. Uh, link in the description if you need it. You can tell us everything we need to know, re return on investment, seller's rank, whatever. Anyways, so this one tells you straight up, eight to 12 men's. Um, this is what's literally in the title, so we can be rest assured that whoever buys this will know exactly what they're getting, right? The eight to 12 sizing. Now, if you do wanna check what this really means, if you wanted to just get the other one, I'll just go through it real quick. We can just go on, uh, Nike here. Let's go to Google. Nike socks eight to twelve is what size? Let's put that. And Nike probably has exactly. And yeah, right. So eight to twelve is a large. Twelve fifteen is an extra large. So that is available. Just, so just to keep it safe, I'm gonna stick with the eight to 12 sizing and exactly what's on the listing here. So anyways, now we wanna buy 10 units of the product. Remember, you need at least minimum 10 units on the invoice. You want to make sure it's the exact same product on the Amazon listing. We know it's the exact same product. We've already looked at it and identified that it is. We know it's eight to 12 sizing, exactly what it says here on Kohl's, eight to 12. And we're going to add to cart and we're going to purchase it. Now, main thing you want to make sure when you're purchasing, this is very important, when you're purchasing, make sure you're using the same billing address as what's on your Amazon Seller Central account and the name also, right? So the name and the address has to match. So let's say you purchase this. Uh, you're probably going to have to wait a few days for it to come in the mail. Once you get in the mail, you're going to get a slip. That slip. We'll have, should have all the information that you need, which is showing the least of minimum 10 units, the product, your name, your billing address, Cole's address, Cole's logo head, the date. Once you get that invoice, you wanna highlight all of those individual pieces of information that I mentioned. So now let's go over to Amazon Sellers dashboard and try to get ungated. Now remember, I'm already ungated for Nike, so I'm going to use another brand that I'm gated for, just to, for this example purpose. Uh, one thing you wanna make sure to grab is on this listing, you wanna grab the ASIN. I can grab the ASIN with Seller Amp. You can just click here and boom. Now just FYI, if you do want Seller Amp, I have the link below, a great tool. 
It gives you estimated sales. If you want to check real quick what your return on investment would be, if it's ten dollars, selling for twenty, twenty-five percent ROI, whatever, whatever, and gives you all these other tools. However, you do not need Seller Amp to get the ASIN. You don't even need Keepa to get the ASIN. If you can look over here at the link, on the link, there is this uh, unique identifier here in the URL. That is, in fact, the ASIN of the product. Now, be aware if the, if the product has different variations, uh, you want to make sure you go to that specific variation before grabbing its ASIN. All right, so now I'm going to go over a seller's dashboard to try to get them gated. All right, so now I'm on the dashboard. You want to go to the top left here, navigate over to inventory, and then go over to manage all inventory. Now put the ASIN that you copied in here. This is the ASIN of that listing for the Nike socks. So I'm going to go and grab another ASIN number, just for example purposes, uh, an ASIN that I am ungated for. Let me go grab that. I'm gated for this ASIN. So you're going to search it. Now that you're here, I'm going to go to seller conditions from the menu, and you will see this apply to sell. If you're ungated, you're not going to see apply to sell, right? Obviously, you're going to see that you're able to sell it. So I can't sell this product because i'm gated in this brand just like you should be gated in nike and you're going to click apply to sell you're going to click request approval all right so now this is going to echo what i've already mentioned these are the things on the document that you must satisfy for amazon seller support to approve you dated on or after august 12th which is within 180 days you're going to highlight the date on your invoice it includes your name and address, matches your selling account. You're going to highlight that as well, your name and address. It includes the name and the address of the manufacturer or distributor, or in this case, online retailer, which is in fact Kohl's. Check that, highlight it on your invoice. Show the combined purchase of at least 10 units. We've got at least 10, right? So we're going to check that off. You can omit the price if you want. Uh, I, I really just don't, but it's up to you. And you're going to check mark this last one where they said they're going to verify. They never really do. So you're good on that. And then you're just going to select the file and drop it here. Select, drop it. It's not going to be the Forbes Nation logo. It's going to be your actual invoice, right? Now, scroll down. There is an optional comments. I do just kind of put in, and you can copy this exact, thank you for approval. I just kind of tell them. I don't request. I said, thank you for approval. And this is all you need. Put your email address and your phone number and submit. Now, turnaround time is usually within one or two days. After a while, if you've gotten gated quite a few times, you're going to find that the bot, there's a bot that usually accepts it, and I get auto approved within like two or three hours. But if it's your first ungate that you're tempting, you're probably going to get an actual manual customer service representative to look at your invoice. So it might take more than a day. And that's it. Now remember, if you do not get approved the first time, I will try again. I will try again. I know someone who's tried seven, eight times before they got approved. Uh, again, this is not 100% success. It's a case-by-case -case basis. You might get denied, but just keep trying. As long as you have all the information that's relevant for, this, uh, for the documents, you will be fine. Now I'm going to move on to the next site that I was actually surprised when people told me that they were using it to get ungated. I did not know that it gives you a successful ungate. So with that being said, just due to the feedback that I've gotten from members in the Forbes Nation group, which is in the link below in the description if you want to join. Again, the Amazon FBA online course, three-part Amazon FBA online arbitrage course. A lot of information. I didn't just slap it together. It took me a damn couple weeks to make that course, right? And it's free, 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 free. Uh, as well as a free community, you can talk with other Amazon sellers. It's always more fun when you're communicating and talking with other like-minded individuals. You don't have to do everything alone. So I'll hope to see you there. Just ping me and say what's up. Now let's move on to the next site. The next site is Dick Sporting Goods. Okay, Dick Sporting Goods. Try Coles first. Try multiple attempts. Uh, if, if all else fails, you can try Dick Sporting Goods. And we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to search Nike Socks. Why am I searching Nike socks? It's low cost, low investment, and you can pretty much find the exact pair or exact listing on Amazon. You don't have to, it doesn't take a lot of guesswork to know what looks like a dang sock, right? All right, so this one kind of is glaring to me as far as uh, which one would be the easiest. So let's just go with that, all right? This one. 
This one differentiates from our other listing from Kohl's because it's ankle high. So we got to make sure it's ankle high. In addition to that, it has branding on the toe area, so it's dry fit. So just keep an eye out for that. And also the sock size, we have an exact medium and large, which is nice, right? So let's just go ahead and copy this. We're going to jump back over to Amazon. We're going to copy paste. Um, let's just go ahead and put black because we know it's going to be black. All right. So no dry fit, no dry fit branding. This is obviously a little bit more. This is kind of right at the ankle. We want a little bit higher than the ankle. This could be it right here. Let's jump back over and look. Um, looks like this might be a little higher than I'd like it to be. Let's keep looking. This looks close. Let's look. This still doesn't look. This one right here. Okay. This is exactly what we would do. I just went, like I said, this isn't scripted. I'm going at this in, in the same way I would go about ungating any other brand. So you're kind of just in the back seat looking at exactly what I would do. This one also could work, but let's make sure it's not a kid size. No, nope, it doesn't say anything about kids. It's men's. This one also says men's. So let's go ahead and check this one out first. This gives us size medium and a large. Perfect. Looking at this, dry fit, about the same height as this one, dry fit. I'm going to go back and just for example purposes, let's go look at that other one as well. Okay, this is the other one. Let's click it. This one just has a medium. This could also work. Medium is, in, is available. Yep, dry fit, quarter socks. Uh, something I also like to make sure is make sure it says dry fit in the description. Just to make sure that the consumer, when they see it, they know exactly what they're getting. All right. So we can choose. Really, it doesn't matter which one we choose. Uh, since I'm already on this one, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Now, remember, this is not going to be profitable. $22. Selling for $26. You know, again, it's just investment. You can break even. You might take a little bit of loss, but you will get gated. That's the main goal here. So. What do we do? Again, same thing. We want to order 10 units of these, add to cart, purchase it, wait for the shipment to arrive at your home. Once you receive it, grab that packing slip, invoice, whatever, and we go through the same methods that we did earlier. Get that invoice, highlight all those things that's required, the date to show you purchased it within the last 180 days, your name and billing address to match what's on your seller's account, we want to also make sure it shows that you have a quantity of 10 at least, as well as the Dick Sporting Goods name and its address all on the invoice. I highlight it because I believe it expedites the process. Probably doesn't, but I do it anyways. And that will be it. And just so I'm going to go through the motions, go over sell our amp, grab the ASIN, BH. Now remember, when you're grabbing the ASIN for this, make sure you're actually in the... Make sure you're actually in the size because if you jump over, oh, there's another. If I were to jump over to this large, it's going to jump over to another color. But you'll see that the ASIN is going to change here. See, it's one that ending in H9L. So we're going to jump back over to the medium, black. If you don't have seller amp, you can go ahead and just grab the ASIN here. Copy. And I'll just, again, I'm just going to do it so it's ingrained in your head. We're going to go navigate to the top left, inventory, manage all inventory, add a product, paste, and then search. And it will tell you to apply to sell. Okay, that is that. Now, if you have any questions on the Ungate, drop a comment. But really, the best way to ask me any questions is to join our Discord server. The link is in the bio. Join for free, absolutely free. I will not try to sell you a membership. I will not try to sell you a course. None of that. There's a free course. And you can just ask me some questions. There are other people that will be there to help if it's not me that's answering. And we will get you some help. All right? Now, moving on to the Health and Beauty Ungate. That site will be ulta.com. Now, moving on to the health and beauty on gate, I am on ulta.com. 
Many, many people will suggest using this site to ungate health and beauty brands. You can find a plethora of different beauty brands here that Amazon does carry. However, personally for me, I've had success on ungating on Kohl's. So this doesn't mean you shouldn't use Ulta. This has a really high success rate. Now, what I would use is this product right here, this product Amazon does in fact carry. So if we search this, highlight it, we'll jump over to Amazon. Didn't have the brand benefit. All right, so right here, you want to make sure that it's the same size. So let's see on here, we what size is this? Oh, point oh point two ounces. So we jump back over. This is 0.13 ounces. Put 0.2 right here. Let's see if the same if it's the same product. We jump back over here. It is not the same product. This one it seems to be a little bit darker. Let's see. It says rose. Okay, so rose. Let's jump back over here and put rose. All right, point two. This one looks like it might be it. No, oh, point thirteen ounces. Point thirty three ounces. However, this one right here, well, it does say rose, but it just looks a little too bright in the color. Okay, so I'm on this listing, and this one at least shows the brand, the color Benetint Rose, 0.2 fluid ounces, pack of one. We jump back over here. This color shows Benetint Rose, 0.2 fluid ounces, 0.2 fluid ounces. Okay, so now, although everyone suggests to use Ulta, me personally, I actually have used Kohl's for a lot of health and beauty on gates. So, if you go over to Kohl's, you'll also find the same exact product and you will find it's also the 0.2 fluid ounces. And the thing with this one doesn't say the Benetint color, but it does in fact still look like that color. So it's really up to you. I think both should work. Same thing. You want to purchase it 10 units follow the same procedure and information that the invoice must carry you can go back over here and look on top and get the asin this way the one that ends in one eight for this one seller amp you can pull it open same s18 just copy it and you will go back over to the amazon seller so real quick i'm in the flips nation discord group uh just so i can show you on the screen what you need for the ungate this is part of the free three-part course that you're welcome to come and try out. Uh, if I scroll down here on the ungate important section, you can see right here, what do I need? What needs to be on the invoices? The invoice document must meet the following requirements. Invoice must show the date within 180 days of buying the product. The name and address must match the information in your seller's account. It must include the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor, and it shows that the combined purchase of at least 10 units. Now, you can go in here and Look at all that information as well as the free course right here, part zero, part one, part two, part three, and all these videos that'll help you learn Amazon FBA online arbitrage in addition to all the ungate information. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped you out in some way. Please drop me a comment if you have any kind of questions. Best way to really contact me is through the free Flips Nation Discord group. That link is below. Remember, free Amazon FBA online arbitrage course free content, free guides, all that fun stuff. In addition to that, you can also contact me on Instagram. That link is also below. 
Again, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next video.